welcome now i am going to create a new resource of products so there is next g resource i have a terminal then products rest api and why it has been created our resource let's open folder and here is our products i am going to delete products.controller.spec.ts this file and products.service.spec.ts this file okay first i am going to create our entities so product entity.ts now we need entity decorator that comes from type rm and i am giving this name that is products and the class is product entity first i need id so primary generated column is id and number next title title is string next column is description and description is also string next column is price price is number next column is stock stock also number now here price i need price is decimal so type decimal here is decimal then we can set precision and precision is 10 next scale scale is 2 and default default is 0 next i need images product images and column images is string of array array of string and here to make this array type rm needs simple array that is it now save this we also need created created date and update date so create date column created at its timestamp next update date column this is up date date at time stamp okay so far we have created primary generated column that is id string title string description price is decimal and still fixed with 2 that means 2.25 3.33 like this stock is now number images is array and this to fill is automatically created with value current value current time now we need relationships and what will be the relationship an user can create multiple product 
so an user so it one too many or user to product like this one category can have multiple product so category to product is also one to many relationships i am opening user entities here is our user entity like this here we rel relation with category entity that one to many one user can create many categories we can do this like here one two many and this relation is going to create for product entity then comma road arrow sign road dot this product added by added by like this is same and products this is product entity of array and this field we have to create in our product entity is not create yet and here many to one for user many to one and is arrow sign we need user entity it's user entity then user and user dot products now added by that is user entity that's it save this file and user entity save this file now product entity and category needed the relationship so open category categories folder then entities and open category entity and category entity is category to product it's one to many like user entity this one let's copy this and modify this now one to many and this is product entity obviously we need product so import product entity brought by its categories category and here product is product entity of array now we need product entity to define these relationships it's almost like this many to one now category entity okay cat cat dot products now category is category entity save this category entity save this open terminal now we need to create a migration and run this migration otherwise this entity will not affect on our database so this is our migration script to create a migration new migration previously we have created our migration now at table is products enter as you can see our migration created successfully now what we have to do is run this migration so to run this migration simply we have to command this script so npm run migration colon run i am pressing enter our script run successfully what i am going want to do is open pgadmin and see if there is 
any effect on our schemas and here is schema there is tables migration and users let's refresh these tables now this is products so successfully created our new table products this is our created column category id added by id updated at created at images stock price description title and id okay now next we will work on our create product method okay till then bye